Good morning Stampers, it's Fiona Whitehead here from craftystamping.blogspot.com and welcome to my new series of Masculine Mondays. This is where on a Monday morning I'm going to be giving you a masculine card to play with. Um, we all have problems I think with masculine cards don't we, they're not quite as easy but Stamping Up do give us some lovely stamps and things to play with for our masculine stamps even if we don't think they are masculine. So my uh, point in um, what I'm trying to say here is this is the bookcase builder set. Now I love this set and I haven't seen a lot of it being used yet so I'm on a mission to get us all using bookcase builder because even if you don't want to build a bookcase with it there are so many lovely little um, images on here and great wording as well. So I'm going to do this today for you and I've done it as um, what was it, a flap card, open flap card because I thought it looked like two bookcases side by side and you normally do see bookcases side by side don't you? Um, and so I've done it as a masculine one and um, so let's get on shall we? So what I've used is black cardstock folded in half, um, scored in the middle and then folded this side in and then I'm just going to fold this side in to see. I've scored that side but I'm not going to score this one. I want to make sure that it actually does meet in the middle. There we go. So I'm just going to hand fold that and then burnish it with our paper. Obviously you can use whatever colours you've got. I just happen to have quite a bit of black left and sometimes black doesn't often get used does it? So here's a a nice way of using up your black cardstock and I'm using very vanilla and our two sheets are it's just under the two inches wide um if you have a look if you've got oh that's my dogs sorry hope they'll be quiet if you look on your scoring tool you've got oh, you know, what an eighth of an inch or whatever it is um so it's just under and it's by roughly five and a half long so they're just going to sit on there. So before we glue those down, we're going to play with our stamps. So the first stamp we need is the shelf. Now, the good way to um, make sure your stamps go on your blocks straight is to put them on your grid paper, like that, and get your block, put it in the middle of your block, because that'll give you some nice even stamping, and then pop it on, and then hopefully your nice line will be straight. Now you can also use our stamp -a jig to, to line up your lines if you're that fussy. Some people like to have them exact. Um, I don't quite so much because I'm a bit of a crafter and not so much the engineer so I don't mind if it's not completely straight but I know some people like it very straight. So if you want to use the stamp -a jig this is a great way of using your stamp -a jig tool. So I'm going to use early espresso and I'm going to just do some stamping. I think I'll follow the stamps and use the stamps that I did in my card um, and we'll see how we get on with that. So just stamp wherever you want, depends on how big you're going to use your the images you're going to use and how many you think you want. So I, I'll just do three for now and we'll see how we get on. Leave a little bit of a gap at the bottom and then take your other piece line them up as best you can. This is where the, our grid paper is so brilliant for this and stamp and you can pretty much eyeball it. But as I say, if you really want it completely right, then get out that stamp -a jig There we go. Now I've got my stamping mist here just to clean my stamps off onto. This has lasted me 12 years, this stamp -a jig uh, this stamping mist, stamping scrub thing. Brilliant, 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 brilliant. Okay, let's put that onto one side. Now I'm just using two colourways in this card and um, uh, although I am going to change the, the bottom wording um, and introduce the third colour, just a bit, a bit of a pop, but I'm using the Early Espresso and Pear Pizzazz. So the first thing I'm going to do is use the stag because he's quite big and he's going to take up that top bit. See, th this stag is a very huggy thing to use, isn't it? Huggy is a big buzzword here in the UK at the moment. It's a Danish term which doesn't have an English translation and it means cosy, warming, comforting and they have huggy nights over in Denmark where they all get together and they sit by the fire and um, I don't know, they drink, they tell stories. Well, I do a few huggy night crafting evenings where friends will come and we have hot chocolate or mulled wine it was at Christmas um, and we sit and guess what, we craft. We do, we have crafting huggy crafty evenings. 
So if you're in my area and you fancy coming along, then have a look on my blog and come and do some hugging with us. Right, switching over to the pear pizzazz, and I'm going to use this lovely globe stamp. And I just sort of did them one either side and tried to make them as even as I could. I'm just going to keep that. Let me just wipe that off from the stamping scrub. I'm going to keep the um, the little block. It's one of our little blocks because I'm going to use the plant. Excuse me, I'm in the way there. I'm going to use the little plant pot. So I need. Um, where is he? There's the there's the fronds, and there's the base. There we go. So we'll do. I think we should do the base first, and then we'll make sure we are getting our fronds on the right place. There we go. Oh, no. See, I don't want it in green, do I? I want it in brown. I've only got two colours and I'm already mixing those up. There we go. Brown. So we'll just pop that next to it there. Oh, I've done it again. Just so nobody's watching me. <laughs> right, let's pop that on there. Good. Got the right colour this time. Take that off and pop on our green. Let me just wipe off that little excess bit of ink. And here's our ferns, fronds, plants, leaves, whatever they are. And pop that on top. Look, two-step stamping. Look, you know, it's just so simple, isn't it? But how effective is that? I, I, I just love this set. I really do. Anyway, enough about me blathering on. Um, what should we do next? Books. Let's have some books. I'm going to have some green tall books. And these can go either way. They can go that way. They can go that way. Green. Green, Fiona, concentrate. And I'm going to put the green on. I should really put the green on the, the brown on the end, shouldn't I? If I'm going to do it properly coloured coordinated. So let's do that. Let me just wipe that off a little bit more. I'm going to do brown then on this one. Brown tall books at the end to offset the green ones that I've got there. Not that it matters, but let's just swap that around and do the other side before I get myself totally confused. There you go, some brown books on their sides. So you can all read who's written them. Swap that off, I've got some already on my other block here. It's not quite straight, there we go. And we'll have some green ones, and these ones are going to lie down. I'm gonna have them in the middle. Do you know, don't you wish that your bookcases were this well organized? I know I do, because mine aren't quite this well organized. Although on my bookcase at home here, I have a pair of my children's baby shoes. They are just too precious to have been thrown away. And um, I don't want them just locked in a cupboard and not ever seen. I'm gonna use the lamp, sorry, just to stop talking for a minute. And so I put them on the bookshelf and there they are. I'm sure it embarrasses my kids no end, but um, I like to see them. My kids are now 25 and 22, so they're not babies anymore. Right, let me get my lamp on straight and I'll have Go for it. I'm going to go for a green lamp. That's that way around the green lamp. And you can stick a little bit of Wig of Stella on this. I did on this one, but it depends how masculine you want your cards to be. And how masculine your masculine man is. There we go. Look at that. Now, what I did for the sentiment was, I love this sentiment, and I've used it already on my husband's Valentine's card, but he doesn't know, and he won't be seeing this, so he's never going to know, is he? And it's the one that says, I love you and all your stuff. And he has a lot of stuff because he is a fly fisherman and he's got fly fishing books coming out of your ears. So let me just make sure that this goes on straight. Practice what you preach. Good. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to attempt to just um cut this stamp up not obviously cut it i'm not going to cut it i'm just going to um stamp one bit which is the i love you and then stamp the other bit which is the all your stuff and the one i love you is going on the left and the rest of it's going on the right what i need for that is my marker pens or our marker pens and this one i'm using is cherry cobbler so that's what i mean i'm just going to give it that can you see what i'm doing there um, it's a bit sh shadowy today i'm afraid because it's a gray old day again here in the uk do you know i really hate january is it just me? But I just find it the worst month. And uh, I haven't got a holiday booked yet this year, which isn't good either. So um, there we go. 
I love you is going on that bit. Oh, it's only just about going to fit. Ta-da! And then we're just going to wipe that off and do the extra bit. Actually, that cherry cobbler looks quite brown, doesn't it? I love you and all your stuff is going on this bit. There we go. And all your stuff! Yay! Clever, clever, clever! I'm not clever. It's just the practice of doing the stamping like that is clever. There we are. And all it remains to do now is to glue our bookcases on. So I have my snail here. Just a quick little bit of snail. I don't know if it's just me, but when I do classes and people are using my glues, and they do so much of it, I'm thinking, oh, that's my glue. Please don't use quite so much glue. No, maybe it's just a mood thing, is it? But I'm quite... Um, Conservative, shall we say, when I'm gluing all my bits on. I like my glue to last. There we go. There's my panels. Move over a little bit. Here's my bookcases. And I think just a few, one of the little um, green hearts here, just at the bottom. I'm just going to stick that there, just on there, just to give it a little bit more bling. And obviously you can put whatever you want on the inside. I did mine as an anniversary card. And I did the stamp the image of the photo frame with a little heart in. And that happy anniversary is actually from Best Birds. Um, but it's pretty, isn't it? So there we go. There's our bookcase builder. And um, I hope you've enjoyed that. Come and see me again next Monday for another masculine card. And don't forget, if you subscribe at the end of the month, one subscriber gets to receive some of my projects for that month. And I'm going to be choosing that person tomorrow because it's February on Tuesday. So good luck, everyone. Thank you for joining me. See you soon. Bye.